to live in Tasmania. It's got everything. You wait till we reach the West Coast. What's down there? That's Queenstown. The town seemed to grow just about overnight during the 1880s, when gold and copper were found at Mount Lau. It was a magnet for miners and their families. This is great. Look at those trucks down there. They're like toys from up here. The power to produce and grow comes from its mountains. And today, more than ever before, Tasmania is on the move. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. On the 11th of December 2013, I informed the House of the tragic deaths of two West Coast locals in a mining accident. It's great sadness today that I again inform the House of a third death at Mount Lyle Mine. Operations at the mine have been temporarily suspended. It is estimated that over 350 jobs will be lost as a result of these closures. So that's the head of the Queen River. And that's mainly coming from these waste rock dumps. So all the water that goes through those goes in clean and comes out acid. And that sulfuric acid eats away at other things in the rock. So if there's any copper or other metals, iron, aluminium in the rock, that gets dissolved into the water as well. So you end up with what we call acid drainage. Um, you can, you've got gum boots on. <laughs> I wouldn't leave your tripod in there for too long. <laughs> no, this is, this, is, this is what it is. This is one of the worst in Australia. It's a lesson of how not to do things. If you want to go up and around, up around there, it takes you around this block. It's all the copper, all the different minerals just being dumped in the river. So it's got your bike, mate. Got it about three and a half months ago. Uh, done a bit of work to it. Love it. Um, Does the trick. Yeah, gets me for A to B, then back to C. You got a name for it? No. No. Yeah, bloody bumpy ride, I tell ya. I've been here 15 years this year, but you've got to be here pretty much your entire life to become a local. 15 years is nothing. Pretty much must call me a tourist, still. Something that goes on all the time about the mine opening. They said it when it first shut down, it's going to reopen. Then they say that we're going to have to postpone it again. Um, just same shit, different day.
and the front door was right there. Yes. Yeah, this is where we used to play cricket on here, on, on this cement path here. Dad had his chooks and his ducks and his geese, and his geese flew away one day from here, heading towards that mountain. Never seen them again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about where, whether I wanted to stay here, you know, for the rest, you know, for, or what, whether I wanted to stay here or whether I wanted to go somewhere else, really. And what did you stay here? I, uh... Um, yeah, I'm a bit stumped there. Because yeah. of the acid rain and the acid drainage and, and stuff like that, it's got a very um, acidic pH. You know, it's a bit sad because I love freshly grown tomatoes. They taste really good, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I think, you know, conservation is a really um, important consideration, you know, and um, you've got to think of your future generations, um, you know, can't just spoil everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, that's what I think anyway. How did this place get to be the way it is? You know, why, why aren't we telling our kids about this stuff? But we're not. We prefer to hide behind our hands and say, oh no, we didn't do that. We tend to believe that we came in here, destroyed the place for profit. We're doing this to survive. There were those locals that saw the ultimate closure as our fault. I've always been called the guy who turned the lights off. 22,000 files like that exist in this building. A lot of them never worked another day in their lives, and they were young men. This is Grumpy. Yeah, he's good. And I thought, well, they'll be good. They'll keep me out of the picture because I don't want to get to co codependent again on... I was a bit code... Here's my mate, the other bird. And uh, so, the... anyway, they look after each other. And, uh, but he's all right. He doesn't fly. Uh, anyway, um, there's some more bottles in there. And hey. This is, um, I love Australian rules, and uh, I played till I was 40, like I said, 39 actually. Well, this is, I'm very comfortable here. I'm comfortable. Yeah. With, um, there's the mild, the, the mild, the, the mine disaster. Would this place be here if it wasn't for mining? Or? No, nothing would be here. Mm. Queenstown wouldn't even be there. Mining was number one. Okay. And in here is Bob's room. This is the ghost, the ghost room. And strangely enough, the only person that slept in that bed, it was called Bob. <laughs> that was me, brother. <laughs> I didn't tell him there was a ghost in here called Bob. That, that's my daughter. That's my son. And that's, that's me. And I'm, I still feel like an outsider in all that mob there. I, I, I don't feel as if um, I should be there. Yeah, right. Mm. It is a feeling. It's only a feeling. Him? He's called Hungry Mole Tom. He used to live under bridges. He said to me once, 
Pete, and he had, he, they called him Elvis, and then, um, he said, I don't care if I die tomorrow, because I'm so happy today. <laughs> like, what? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a, that's, anyway, he was very. He died. He died two days before he was going to get married. You know. Like this one. <laughs> Yeah, he might be back first, I think. I, but I know he definitely said he wouldn't be here tonight. Uh, Matt will be here late. And then John, John rang me 20 minutes ago and said, Tobe, I'm having shit luck with cars. My ute's now broken down, so I've got to start fixing it. What's so he's six. Yeah, well. Do a couple of laps. We'll meet round here. What happened? Uh, Bobby! Oh, he stopped it! If that goes in, it's not on camera, Bobby. That <laughs> is. I think football-wise, what happened in the town, like everyone needed a place to sort of, um, I don't know, sort of release sort of thing. That's pretty much 2014 was all the mates were together because we lost three mates. Send this footage straight to the canton. It's supposed to put a new roof on it. It is a matter of concern that many in Tasmania's West Coast mining community are currently facing uncertain times, but it is extremely important that the focus turns to pursuing sustainable opportunities that do include tourism and other service industries. No one or three. <laughs> three. I've got three bucks, haven't we? One ain't. Three! Oh! Bust you! Give me half a cart and I'm going home. <laughs> Good morning, Tom. Good A bit for Australia, taking a great Aussie holiday. What do you mean I'm just lazing about enjoying myself? It ain't looks like that. But what I'm really doing, see, I'm providing a valuable injection into the Australian economy. That's why a lot of people are working hard to make Tasmania a better place for tourists to come to. All aboard, please, folks! All aboard! From the city of No, this is the first day. I didn't start at lunchtime today. Gotta to get some more detergent. Get a lungful. This is world heritage. No question about it. We operate a business now called Rome Wild Tasmania, and we started operating mine tours of all things. There's a shaft in here, so don't follow me. <coughs> oh, we might not go in this one, boys. Wrong time of year. Oh, if you want to get wet feet, we'll go in. Oh, things we do in the name of journalism. Oh, here's a nice cave spider up here, boys. Beauty! Uh, yeah, close as I'm gonna get, bro. Huh? 
You don't have to get far in to see what happens. Copper oozing from the walls already. The need for copper and things isn't going to go away, so maybe one day this will be a functioning, productive mine. Until then, let's make it a tourism asset, eh? The kids love this. The Mount Lowell mine reopening will have a, a big impact on the local economy, there's no question about that, but it's not going to be the big employment and economic driver that mines were 25 years ago. If it's not sustainable, forget it. It's just a one-way street with a brick wall at the end. We've done that enough in the past, haven't we learnt? I grew up in a, a, in a time when it was quite normal to carry the household rubbish to the nearest bridge and drop it in the river. Some visitors describe Queenstown as one of the ugliest towns in Tasmania. Not ugly, it's beautiful. We're not so really green-minded in Queenstown. No, they're upsetting you, and they're interfering with our way of life. It'll never die. The town? It'll be like me, I won't die either. <laughs> You staying at the hotel? Yeah, mate, yeah. yeah. I was the only one in here, actually, up until about half hour ago. <laughs> I had the place all to myself. Heaven and Sydney. Um, I was born here. Yeah, always going to leave, but never did. Yeah. Now this one is black B-52. That's us! That's us! Excuse me, it was rich. <laughs> Switch on now, boys. Mickey. First quarter, we want 10 plus goals straight up. 10 plus goals straight up. Let's go. Oh, boys. 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 Oh, well done, boys. Come on, boys! Yay, yeah. yeah, Blue Team! Have a kick. Nice. Thank you. That's it. That's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. Yeah, I mean, this will be given a big clean out before you restart. Yeah. I crack the shits about this sort of stuff. Tape, tape just left lying on the ground. Is it to be used or is it not to be used? I think we had seen it Yeah, it is actually. <laughs>
mining will always be with us and they'll be with us forever. Yeah, and, it's uh, not going we, anywhere, is it? We all need it. And, and, and we simply can't do without it. Yeah, what's the alternative? You know, even those that, that don't agree with mining, uh, they show their disagreement using iPhones that have been produced through mining, you know, and, and uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You've got nothing better to do but put tea bags on the roof. <laughs> uh, no, everybody wants us to reopen. I, I don't think there's anybody that is... Uh, in fact, I think everybody would like to, to reopen tomorrow if, if we could. So I think my mission is to, is to get the people back in here again. for a little bit longer, don't tell Mum. Because she's so full on, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. It's like, really? Yeah, what do you reckon? Rock and bye, baby, I'm the greeter. When the wind blows the cradle, we'll rock. When the wind blows the cradle, we'll fall. <laughs> Down will come, baby, grey do we go? You better go for nanny? Hey? You love Rocky Bot Baby, don't you? I might go out and have a sinky. Did you want to have a break? Yeah, or have a let's break? do that. All right. I've had 11 miscarriages before I had my first daughter. And I do put it down to that mine. I really, really do. You can't even eat the fish out of the bay sometimes. Mm, they have warnings, mercury. Yeah. And I'm a mining girl. You know, my dad was a miner and my kids' dads are miners. Why don't they like change? Change is a good thing, you know, it really is, but they don't seem to want it here. Oh, I think they might be. Good night! Oh, good. How did you go? Got seven right! Votes. Um, votes? Yeah. For best, yeah. The umpires, they vote for whoever was best on the court at that game. Oh, yeah. Right. So that's, mine. that's for me, that's fantastic! <laughs> Woo! I'm really wrapped. Oh, I'm so <laughs> cold, my toes are so sore. Oh, I'm just so proud. I'm so, so proud of you, Ashley, because I know you didn't know you was going to get votes. <laughs>